Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and Kimmy. And so today I went to look on the lists of all the uh, names of 10 that we've been prophesying over this last uh, two weeks and no one wrote their name in the comments. I was so surprised because everybody always wants to receive prophetic ministry and there was not even one person that wrote their name in the comments. So what I did, I went to our Monday Prophetic Team Ministry and I saw we um, had about 70 names on that list and we only prophesied, I think, to the first 40 people. So I decided, okay, I'm going to take the 30 names after that 40 and I'm going to minister to all of that 30 names. So I divided it into three groups and I'm going to post the videos today and Friday and Saturday. So that means on Sunday, we're going to have a fresh video again. So if you want it today or tomorrow on, on uh, today, that being uh, Friday or Saturday or Thursday, want a prophetic word on Sunday, please write your name in the comments and I'll make sure your name is on the list for Sunday. Okay, so the first person I want to minister to is Dawn Stewart. As a Dawn, I just see how the Lord picks you up. It's almost like you were falling. You know when, when someone uh, wants to fall and you, and you hold them on their sides so they don't fall over. I, I saw like, it's almost as if, the, I don't know if your blood sugar just went out of your body or if you uh, tripped over something, but something happened and the Lord just grabbed hold of you. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm carrying you. I'm holding you. You will not fall. Uh, I'm giving you strength. And then I saw all kinds of supply come to your life, whether it's finances or help, support, words of encouragement, friends that you haven't even spoken to for a long time coming there and helping you. And so the Lord says, do not fear. Help us on the way. God bless you, Dawn. Amen. God bless you, Dawn. God loves you. This next word is for France. France, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was a compass and I just feel how the Lord is really um the Holy Spirit is really talking to you what direction you need to go next. And I just feel how the Lord is really giving you a heart that is hungry for Him. And the, all the areas of your heart where you feel like there was lack, where you felt like um, there needs to be more, um, all the areas in your life, when it comes to business, ministry, family, I just feel how the Lord is really bringing overflow um, to all areas of your life. And then I just saw a picture of how the Lord is really picking you up and placing you on the rock. Um, France, God loves you so much. And I just really feel how the Lord is really bringing so much direction, healing, and overflow into your life. He loves you. God bless you. Excuse me. Uh, um, Amen, and France. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Alpha. Alpha, the Lord clearly shows me how he's writing your name in the book of life. The Lord says, you are my child and, and you have a home. And it's, it's like... On your on your um, birth certificate, it's your it's your name, and then your parents' names. Actually, I have no idea what's on a birth certificate. But the Lord shows me how how He's showing how it's it's a birth certificate kit that He's giving to you, and it's and it's His name saying, "I am the father of this person. I am the father of Alpha, and I will take care of this child. I will." Um, you know, like, like, or it's almost like an adoption, like the, the adoptive parent saying, I will take care of this child. I, I am capable of taking care of this child. And the Lord says that you are no longer an orphan because he is claiming you as his child. Be blessed. Okay. Alpha, I say this felt that the Lord just wants to establish you. Uh, the Lord says uh, you are planted, you will grow and you will flourish. God bless you. All right. So the next one is for Kerry Watson. Okay, Kerry. <laughs> so... Once a year where I grew up there in Harry Smith, there's these guys that come with trucks and then they got a uh, pick manure and then they would spread it over the people's grass. Uh, you pay them a little bit of money for it, but then for that next two months, your grass is growing fast and is thick and green and it looks beautiful. And so I see that there is stuff happening in your life. You feel, oh, this is going wrong and that's going wrong and this didn't go the way I wanted it to go. And oh, here comes a blessing, here comes an opportunity, but I don't have time to do it. And it's so busy, it's all over the place. It's not nice and orderly as you would like it to be. And I felt it's like that truck of pig manure came and was delivered to you. You know, when I <laughs> spread over the grass that first week, the smell 
and uh, the, the, the look and all of that is not good. But then once you add that first the rain and, and the water kind of just uh, settled all of that manure into the grass, then suddenly you just have growth and green and lush. And I just felt that's what's happening in your life. God bless you. Hey, God bless you, Kerry. <laughs> this next word is for Joshua. I honestly, I can relate to that message. Um, this next word is for Joshua. Joshua, God loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord has really called you to be a fisher of men. And I just saw a picture of how the Lord is really filling you up with His living water. And then I, I also feel how God is really calling you um, into the prophetic to hear His voice. And, and I see how you like speak over to a lot of young people, but specifically over your life and your family's lives. God is calling you to hear His voice and to prophesy. And God is calling you to really lean onto Him more than ever. I just feel like the Lord says, I'm your coach. It's like you're a boxer and you know, God, like God is your coach. And I just feel the Lord puts His hand on, on your shoulders and says, you're going to be okay. You can do this. God loves you. God bless you, Joshua. Amen, Joshua. Please leave us a comment saying this for Kina. Kina, the Lord says, do not um, diminish or downgrade small beginnings. It, because if you see a plane, if the nose of the plane even like tilts slightly, the plane can go to like a whole different country. Like the direction completely shifts. And the Lord's saying that one change, like every year, every month is going to make such a big difference. And I hear those are ve these are very practical changes. The Lord wants you to get enough sleep. He wants you to drink water, eat well, exercise. The Lord says you are a temple of my spirit and he wants you to be, to be healthy. And I hear the Lord saying that you are body, soul, and spirit. As your body must be healthy, he wants your spirit to be healthy because your spirit is hungry for the word in the presence of God. Be blessed. Okay. Awesome. Kina, God bless you. Uh, his hand is upon your life. So the next word is for Shay. So Shay, I saw a doormat and on the doormat was written, Welcome Holy Spirit. And then I remember that uh, show, I didn't actually watch it that much, uh, but I've watched it a few times of uh, Sid Roth. And when Sid Roth starts his show, he usually tells, okay, this is what we're going to learn today. And then he starts with, Welcome Holy Spirit, this show belongs to you. And, and it's always interesting for me how he starts the show with Welcome Holy Spirit. And I saw how you wake up in the morning and you say, Welcome Holy Spirit. And then Holy Spirit every day helps you, strengthens you, gives you strategies for the day, gives you tasks to do, gives you supernatural intersections and supply. And so I believe the Lord is blessing you. And But you have to say every morning, Come Holy Spirit, I'm going to walk this day with you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Marion. Marion, the Lord loves you. And I just feel there's such a boldness and comfort, God. God is giving you God is giving you boldness and courage but also giving you um comfort and rest and i just feel how the lord is really uh, it's like marion he's like grabbing you by the holding you by the face and saying fix your eyes on me and i just feel how the lord is saying new <clears throat> new songs over you like just new worship music that um new comforting music i just feel how god is just singing songs over you in this time mary and god loves you so much and i just feel the lord says i am your rock i am the one who loves you i'm your king and i'm with you god bless you and Marianne, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Lydia. Lydia, the Lord says that I want you to, to open the floodgates onto your garden. I hear the Lord saying that he has planted seeds in your heart and you control the sluice gate. You can decide whether you allow this to flow or whether you allow this to, to be um, still and, and stagnant. The Lord says, open those gates and start to flow. Speak in tongues, pray, read his word, meditate on his word. Um, and meditating on his word is it's just like repeating the word over and over and over again until you believe it. That seed must must fall and then you must believe it. Be blessed. Hey, Lydia, God's provision is your portion. And I'm going to keep on declaring it to you. Supernatural provision for Lydia in the name of Jesus. Okay. So uh, the next word is for Anna Mary. Anna, I just see how the Lord has strengthened you over many, many years and how you can really help so many people. And I see that serving heart in, in you. And you know, you just take responsibility for someone you care for them. And uh, we, we had a friend, uh, what she would do, she, uh, there was a bird, uh, I think it was a dove, uh, that fell and, and got hurt. And she took the dove in and then helped that dove, spoon fed the dove until the, the, the uh, wing was strong. And then uh, she let the dove out again and now the dove stays there in the one corner of the roof by her house. 
and the dove been there for years. But that was a small dove that fell and broke their wing. And I just see how you have that nursing anointing to help people to, to heal and to keep that relationship for a long time. And so the Lord says, that's your gifting. And so walk in that gifting of yours. And when you find that next person, the Lord says, I will give you the provision and the love to take care of that one also. God bless you. Jose, thank you very much, Anna. God bless you. His hand is upon your life. Uh, so family, uh, today is Thursday. So I'm prophesying, we're going to sit right here now and we're going to prophesy uh, for 10 people for Friday and we're going to prophesy to 10 people for Saturday. So on Sunday afternoon, I'm going to sit and I'm going to go through the, the last three or four videos. I'm going to take the names and then we'll make a list again uh, who we're going to minister to on Sunday. So I'm not saying it to you so that you understand if you would like to receive a prophetic ministry, you can write your name in the comments. Okay. So now, um, if you are new to Unity with Heaven, uh, we'll still minister to you, but I want to encourage you to hit that uh, subscribe button. You can even sign up to our newsletter. If you would like to support Unity with Heaven, you can hit that PayPal button and you can donate something that you have on your heart if you felt you wanted to give something and you can do it and I will really appreciate it. I love each one of you. Have a wonderful day. God bless.